Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at in 1 to 10 from Logic 1, and this is the Python solution. Remember, you can find all my solutions at the GitHub repository link in the comment section. All right, given a number n, return true if n is in the range 1 to 10 inclusive, unless outside mode is true, in which case return true if the number is less or equal to 1, or greater or equal to 10. So we see here we have 5 and false, meaning we're not um, in outside mode, so we get true because 5 is within 1 and 10 inclusive. We have 11 false, we get false because we're not in outside mode, and this is outside the range of 1 to 10 inclusive. And we get 11 true true because we are in outside mode, and now this is greater than or equal to 10, or it's less than or equal to 1. All right, so what we're going to do here, this is a simple kind of problem where we have a Boolean um, an if statement that checks outside mode, and then we have a return statement with a Boolean expression in it. So if we say if outside mode, meaning if outside mode is true, well in this case we're going to return if n is less than or equal to 1, or n is greater than or equal to 10. Right? Because if we're outside mode, we want if we want true if we're less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 10. Now, otherwise we want to return true if we're within 1 to 10. So remember, a benefit of Python is that you can actually use mathematical operations. So you can say return, well, mathematical notation here, return 1 is less than or equal to n, which is less than or equal to 10. And I hit go. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4. What did I do wrong here? Return n is less than or equal to 1. Oh, I'm totally doing the wrong notation here. There we go. Too much for Java. All right, now. I just want to draw your attention to this line here. Though this works in Python and it's great, I do encourage students to be comfortable with, let's comment this out, writing it in this format, return n is greater than or equal to 1 and n is less than or equal to 10. And the reason why writing it in this notation is really important is when you translate to Java um, or some other language, it doesn't support this mathematical notation. And with that, I hope this helped. Have a wonderful day.